Some new questions tonight about social media posts made by a member of the Darren Bailey campaign. This time it's the Republican candidate for governor's running mate who's being asked to apologize. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is here with details. Taman. Mike and Ray, good evening. Since playing a major role in Darren Bailey's primary campaign ads, GOP Lieutenant Governor candidate Stephanie Trussell has kept a low profile in recent months. She's well known, though, in conservative circles as a provocative radio host, not at all shy about expressing her beliefs. GOP candidate for governor Darren Bailey has come under fire for his social media posts, including these comments from 2017. Attempted extermination of the Jews of World War II that doesn't even compare on a shadow of, of the life that has been lost and, and with abortions. Bailey is not alone in using social media to share cultural views. His running mate, Lieutenant Governor candidate Stephanie Trussell, also posts on Facebook and Twitter. In this 2017 tweet, Trussell, a former radio talk show host, weighs in on the transgender bathroom debate, calling for DNA locks on public bathrooms and locker rooms. Stick your finger in the lock and your DNA will open the appropriate door, she writes. We are not interchangeable. Do you think Bruce, referring to Caitlyn Jenner, has true joy? Trussell has used Facebook posts to mock Planned Parenthood. Back in March, she wrote, President Obama became the first sitting president ever to address Clanned Parenthood. The ex-wife of Jeff Bezos donated $270 million to Clanned Parenthood, helping to remove barriers for blacks to kill their babies. The candidate also has a series of posts about gays and lesbians. In these 2020 comments about actor Billy Porter playing a genderless fairy godmother, Trussell writes, just say no. The LGBTQ XYZ agenda is aggressively trying to repurpose classic stories and films. How can a godmother be genderless? Satan is a liar. In another post, Trussell says, I saw a preview of the reboot of One Day at a Time. There was a scene of one of the daughters kissing a girl in a bedroom. Just heard that a Saved by the Bell reboot will have one of the male characters presenting as a woman. Hard pass on both. Trussell is sharply critical of politicians that back the, quote, gay agenda. In 2015, she tweeted, since Bill Clinton was called the first black president, can we call Barack Obama the first gay president? Asked for comment, Trussell provided this statement. Crime is skyrocketing and jobs and families are fleeing under J.B. Pritzker's watch. But his campaign and the media are making a big election about old social media posts. Darren Bailey and I are focused on making Illinois safer and more affordable for every Illinoisan. Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton's campaign spokesman slammed the comment, saying in a statement, The Bailey-Trussell ticket is simply too extreme, and they do not have what it takes to lead our diverse state. They owe Illinoisans everywhere an apology for the hurt that their dangerous rhetoric has caused. Political analyst Paul Lisnick says answering questions about social media posts is the last thing Bailey and Trussell want to be focused on at this stage of the campaign. When you're running statewide and you need the support of Chicagoland and Cook County on a statewide basis, man, going to the world of social media with negative disparaging comments about certain groups in this state, that is just not the direction you want to take the race. Both the Bailey and Pritzker campaigns are headed to the Illinois State Fair this week. Mike and Ray, where no doubt these questions will come up. We'll see what they have to say about it this week then. Tamont, thank you. Well, two women remain